I've always had the strength to fight through pain and keep going towards my goals, even when it hurts. Like the three rods in my back to fix the curvature of my spine, or being a single mom, pursuing my fourth college degree. There is no question where my strength comes from. I was born with my mom's drive, mm -hmm. my dad's work ethic, and I inherited our family faith. I try to pass on those same values to my son, who I hope reaps the benefits of generations of sacrifices and struggles. One day, I had my, my breaking point. point and all the lights went out. I promised God if he brought me through, I would tell the world my story. I'm not a celebrity or a billionaire, but if telling my story can inspire even just one person, I will have accomplished my goal. My mom, man, my mom was my biggest cheerleader. She was my constant. We talked daily about recipes for cooking, places we wanted to travel, and even getting advice about raising my son. And more, the encouragement she gave me while I worked full time and went to school, it was invaluable. Halfway through my three-year electrical engineering program, I got a call from my sister in Michigan telling me I needed to get home right away. My mom's lung cancer had taken a drastic turn and she had slipped into a coma. I flew home that night. The car ride from the airport to the hospital, it was silent. As tears rolled down my face, all I could do was pray. I didn't know that I would never hear her voice again. Listening to the doctor uttering the words, there's nothing we could do, that broke me. But my family and I refused to let her transition alone. I slept on the windowsill in the hospital for six days just to be by her side. Slow deaths are the toughest. The images of her deteriorating body were heartbreaking and they, and they hunted, hunted me. When my mom passed away, I was completely lost. Without her, I didn't know how I could go on. Within the blink of an eye, the source of my strength, my light, was gone. I isolated myself from everyone, in my house. including my family and friends. I can actually say this was the darkest moment of my entire life. Oh my God, it was the darkest ever. I was on a carousel of emotions. Wow. For the first time in my life, wow. I questioned my faith. I, can't I stopped reading the, the Bible. Stop going to church. Um, and God. Work in school. Yeah. That became a blur. I did not want to do anything. I tried to shield my emotions from my son the first time and project strength saw me cry. when all I really wanted to do was give up and quit everything. I lost my mind because that was like my breaking point. For almost a year, I was just, just existing, existing, going through the motions. Push me to my back. I was always physically strong, but this was an unfamiliar weight. I, I didn't know, know how, how to carry, carry. I was ready to throw in the towel. And then it, it hit me. me. Giving up? Nah, that's not in my DNA. Attention everyone, we have a patient over here, Teresa, who has had her last day of chemo today. <laughs> I watched my mom fight until her very last day. No matter the adversity she faced, she never gave up on herself or any of us. Every ounce of hurt was used as motivation. I refused to fold. I doubled down on my efforts at school. I did tutoring on Saturdays and met with my instructors after class. Exercise and working out were my ways to be social again. 
and heal my body along with my spirit. But ultimately, I realized I couldn't get through it alone. I had to let my close friends be a source of strength for me until I could stand strong again and be in a position to motivate others. As my faith grew stronger and stronger, I began to realize my true purpose to always be an example of hard work and dedication for my son and to encourage others, especially single moms, to continue breaking barriers and be the best version of themselves. I also hope to encourage anyone dealing with grief to keep pressing forward. I know that carrying on in my mom's name is the best way to honor her legacy and that drives me every day. Life is not always wrapped up neat and presented to you with a bow. There will be days you will have to put on your armor and fight for your life, literally, emotionally, and most of all, spiritually. Sometimes even when you think you reach the finish line, the race is not even close to being over. You have to press forward. There's still work that needs to be done. You may just be catching your second win, but you will need to gather your strength for the next leg of the race that will present unknown challenges. But you will know you can face it and conquer it because you're stronger today because of the work you did yesterday. There's no finish line to the race, just a continuation to the next chapter.